words. What's in them? Well, there's lots of importance in, in words. And you'll, as you'll soon find out. Hey, I'm Jimmy Hendrick. And this episode is called E-19. Shove me, fly that ship on Empower Your Pattern 2.0. Hi, I'm Jimmy Hendrick. Remember the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Success Conference and Thrive Coach? I wish to let you know that there are patterns to help you receive more, help you live a better and extraordinary life right now. I also believe that there are spiritual and temporal tips to help you overcome the adversities in the everyday life. So if you come with me, I will show you these patterns. Get ready. Let's go. Okay, I'm excited for this one, you know. Um, you remember a couple of episodes back, we did What's in a Name? Well, What's in Words? And you may think that this sounds kind of strange, where this is coming. But I'm going to get this episode queued up, and I'll be back with you with the full episode. And then after after it's queued properly and, and the insights are given there, I'm going to give some further insights on myself. for you today. Okay, the past two, the past uh, several episodes, we've um, backtracked between October 96 and February 1997. Well, now we're in February 1997 once again. I had just gotten out of my two classes. It was a Monday afternoon and he said, Jimmy, you remember that thing I showed you when I first got there, that, 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 uh, yak backwards? I said, yeah. He said, say something, and we'll see if it means anything backwards. I said, okay. So, back then, I always had an idea for a name for a private jet that I would have, and I, and I, I said into the recorder this way, H-A-I Enterprise. Backwards, it, it freaks me out what it says. Shove me, fly that ship. And Keith said, Jimmy, this should be a propulsion to help you with your success. Because, see, I think Keith knew that Elias and Valerie Grace were trying to help me with my depression. Because I was so down that um, I couldn't even see myself as a leader or a hero. But Keith saw me as, as that. He was like, Jimmy, you've got to be able to pr propel yourself. You're going to get married in, in four months, man. you got to find a way to propel yourself, help, help her. And it, it's funny because it reminds me of the weekend before Keith came. When I went to see friends in back home in Odessa. And Andromeda had given me the, a book of this, uh, this gingerbread man cookie thing. And on the book it says, the perfect man. He, he's, he's quiet, he's sweet. And if it gets in, his, in your way, you can bite his head off. Of course, it was just, it was just like a little notebook. And I would take pictures, uh, I, mean, I would have notes of like a house with an indoor swimming pool like I've always wanted to, you know? Mm -hmm. the, the dreams I had with my ex-wife, uh, Chris. And I remember when I told Keith about the name of the plane, that's when he suggested the Yak Backwards thing. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with entrepreneurship? All right, listen to me. 
listen to me and listen to me good. We often have adversities, right? We often have storms. And as a result of those storms, it produces what's known as problems for each and every one of us. But it, sometimes I'm afraid it becomes a so, so what? Not making fun of it, it just becomes a so what? The real what becomes, what do I do about it? You may have a personal adversity that you're, you're afraid, you're scared that you can't make it through. That you're nothing. That you're not a leader or a hero or a loser. Don't buy into Satan's attacks. Okay? Because he's big on that. Alright? Now listen to me. Here's something that's, that's very important for you to begin to understand here. Shove me fly that ship to me means I propel my butt out the door when you be to pursue my dreams. Now granted I haven't done very much book writing in a while or and speaking. I've I've had my own personal challenges. But I don't know, it's something like my Toastmasters meeting today that's told me to get up off my bootstraps and just really press in and, and, and work it. I just, I can't give up anymore because in some ways I feel like my back has been against the wall. So once again, I'm, I'm reminded once again today of that little trick with the, with the yak backwards. Or as some people call it a yak back. That has, has really been pushing me to this day to try to work on my dreams. I'll be back with a minute with a closing song and closing words. <laughs> no, no closing song, no closing words at this point. We still got a lot to unpack here. It was just a simple episode that was recorded in late July of 2021. And let me tell you something, I was making excuses back then. Because in many ways, I was floundering around because of COVID. I didn't think... I was almost to the point of giving up that there was any purpose. Okay, and when, and when I discovered ACN, that was kind of like the excuses bird. That ain't going to fly no more. I have to find my own ship and fly it. And so, so there's two concepts to shove me fly that ship uh, that I see are important. Dr. Stephen Covey, he's known as saying, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. And I remember the first time I heard that, I was at a network marketing convention, shoot, a little over 26 years ago. And I thought to myself, well, not really skeptical, just really questioning. Kind of like, what are these buzzards talking about? What do they think they're talking about? But it's now that I have more than gotten my feet wet in personal development, I can tell you what that means to me. Keeping the main thing, the main thing is this. Major in the majors. Focus and prioritize on what's important. And see, the thing is, our distracted, defiant culture don't want us to focus on what's important. All right? We face many obstacles to our success. And it's, it's something because I have been looking for some good uh, filler episodes for um, Enterprise in America. 
And I thought, well, let's let one of them be a profound lesson I learned by what really was seem to be just like a, a, a do-nothing joke of some sort between me and my best friend Keith. But it turned into a valuable lesson. Shove me, fly that, fly that ship, means get my butt out the door to do what needs to be done, and take charge of my life's journey, success, and destiny. Now, one thing is that that means that means that also <clears throat> you need to make the Lord the captain of your destiny. Okay. And that was something that I never, I never really thought of back in 1997. I mean, I loved the Lord. From December of 1995 to December 1996, I had a deep closeness with the Lord. And then I don't want it, I don't know what it is. Satan entered into my heart with a father void. You know, wondering and he filled my heart full of anger. He said, you know, you don't have a father to talk shop with. And and, and I stupidly believed him. I stupidly believed him. And when Keith came along, shoved me fly that ship. Well, shoot, it took a little over six months for me to begin to figure that out. But now it, ha it has new meaning. I mean, yes, it means shove, shove your butt out the door to do what needs to be done in whatever business endeavors you have. But fly that ship means that you take charge of your future and don't let some um, government or corporation tell you what your worth is. I want that for you. You should want that for you. Okay? Because I'll tell you something. You have to want success for yourself. You have to be able to shed yourself through all these endeavors. And fly that ship which is destiny. To empower yourself to success. I, I want you to think about those things. I've had two men that were almost like besties with me that encouraged me to shove myself out of the door of conventionality and to, to take, take control of the helm of the ship that is called Destiny and to fly that sucker. You want success, right? You gotta show out, show yourself off the door, and 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 to fly that sucker, non-negotiable. You know, the first thing is keeping the main thing, the main thing, which to me is major in 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 the majors. Focus on what's important to your success and personal development. Okay. People consider me as successful just because I launched. You know, um, I launched my business this month. Maybe so. But I, I picture myself as a success, really, when my, my business begins to have some success. So I'm asking you guys to pray for me in that endeavor, okay? I'm asking you guys to please pray for me in my endeavor because I want to succeed. Just as much as I want you guys to succeed. <clears throat> the, 
Let me begin to close this out by something Jim Rohn said. Don't say, if I could, I would. And I've had people tell, say that I need to say that. If I could, I would. You know what that sounds like to me? If I could, I would, but I can't. Let me tell you something. My maternal grandfather would not want to hear me say that. He, you had, he, he, he once had a saying, and I only knew the first part of it, you know, because I didn't practically live with him, but he, he would always say, can't, could never do anything. And I learned, let's say, 31 years later, the rest of the saying, can't, could never do anything, will has to step in and do the job. So, if I could, I would. That's, that, that sounds, that sounds dis disempowering, right? That sounds disempowering. But, you know, if you feel like this is something that you can prioritize as important, you can say, I will. And when you say, I will, it opens the door for you to fly, to, to, to find a way. It opens the door for you to shove your butt out the door and fly that ship, which is your success, your destiny, your business, your calling, whatever it is that God's called you to do. You know, James Hendrick Enterprises is not a company that's going to sit there and say, I can't. Now, I understand, you know, with our bodies and, and such, we have limitations. We take better care of our bodies. But, for the most part, can't is not a part of the vocabulary here in this company. And God bless it, it's not. And now with that, I hope you enjoy listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of Pattern Realm. This is Jimi Hendrix saying, until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others won't. And do what others won't so you can have it as can't. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless each and every one of you. This next episode, you guys are going to be in for a treat. So get ready. God bless you. God bless every one of you.